Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a resource list that I've compiled for front-end developers, specifically beginners. Now, I know there are a lot of resource lists out there for front-end developers, but I find they are a bit too complicated and contain too many resources. And I remember when I was a beginner, I would look at these resource lists and I wouldn't bother even looking at most of them because you just have too many resources. So as a beginner, I've kind of, if you are a beginner, I've kind of outlined all the resources I think you would need as a front-end developer. If you are advanced or you've been a front-end developer for a long time, you're probably very familiar with these resources. So maybe this video isn't so useful for you. But if you are a beginner, and you're just starting out in your front-end developer journey, I think this video and this resource list is going to be helpful. Um, so essentially I've compiled the, the kind of bare minimum uh, resources that a beginner should know. And I'm gonna go through these various resources right now. So at the very top we have documentation, we have MDN web docs, if I open this, this, in my opinion, is a way to understand web development at a deeper level. If you go to some of the reference articles or the guides, it kind of gives you a deeper understanding of what things mean. For example, HTML is hypertext markup language, is the most basic building block of the web, and it goes into quite a lot of detail and the articles can be quite long. Um, so, and so this is good for in-depth knowledge, I would say. Then we have W3 schools, and I use this a lot for guides and tutorials. So for example, if I, if I want to build a form, a login form, let's say, I'd go here, I'd type in search form, and it, it'll give me an example HTML form, and I can click try it yourself, and then it'll give me the HTML that I can use. I can copy this and paste it into my code editor or whatnot. So I find W3 schools very useful for tutorials. If I want to build something, I go to W3 schools and search for it there. Then we have learning platforms. Free Code Camp is very popular. And here is where you can learn to code for free. It covers a range of different languages. Um, but I would say it's very shallow. It doesn't give you a very in-depth understanding. Uh, Code Academy, similar. I would say it's a bit more in-depth than Free Code Camp. Um, there's a lot of quizzes uh, from what I remember. Coursera, you pay course, paid courses, and I would say they offer a more in-depth understanding of front-end development. Then I have some design inspiration. Um, if you're a developer, it's useful to get understanding of design and UI, UX, and Dribble and Behance can be a good way of discovering um, discovering de various design works that are available. Then we have the standard tools that most developers use. Visual Studio Code, Code Editor, highly recommend using it, very useful. Contains a lot, contains, contains a really good extension library, uh, which makes coding a lot easier and a lot more in interesting and fun. Then we have Figma, which is a collaborative design tool. A lot of designers use Figma for their designs. Then we have Chrome DevTools, which is just a way of understanding the, 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 the browser and what's contained with it, within it and debugging also. So these are the tools that a front-end developer would use on a regular basis. Then we have CSS Frameworks, which stands for, CSS stands for Cascading, cascading Style Sheets and we have popular frameworks, Bootstrap and Tailwind. Uh, Bootstrap is very popular, um, but Tailwind is becoming increasingly more popular nowadays because of how quickly you can build things with it. It's very, very, very much class-based, similar to Bootstrap, but I would say it's a bit more advanced than Bootstrap um, and requires a deeper understanding. Then we also have JavaScript libraries and frameworks. We have React. 
which is a very popular React, uh, which is a very popular JavaScript library. Uh, it's very fun and good fun to use as a developer. Vue.js, um, also very popular. Angular also. And then we have version control. And you can click on these various links and it will take you to the website that these languages are founded on. So the React library is contained within that link and same for Vue and Angular. So you can keep track of the latest goings on with those particular libraries. Then we have version control, we have Git and GitHub. So Git is the version control system and GitHub is the place where your repositories and your code can be stored. Um, this is very important if you're working as part of a team to store your code in some sort of version control system. Um, and then we have communities, Stack Overflow, a very popular forum where you can get answers to various questions that you may have and, and answers are normally very, very good and detailed. Dev.2, which is quite a fun community of software developers where they post articles and blogs and tips and ideas. Then you also have the Reddit web developer community, which is also quite fun. Um, then we have a few news and blogs uh, articles. If you if you want to be within the front end developer community and if you're very passionate about front end development, these news and blog, blog articles can be very helpful and interesting if you want to keep, keep up to date with the latest goings on in front end development. Browser extensions, I highly recommend JSON formatter especially if you are if you need to decode json and make it easy to read then we also have the live server which you can use to launch a development local server a few different podcasts if you want to stay up to date with the latest goings on in front end development also um, code pen radio is really good especially if you're interested in running a web software business one day then some books this is my personal favorite part of this resource list. Um, I highly recommend CSS, the Definitive Guide and Learning Web Design. Um, give you a, a much more deeper understanding of CSS. And you might be surprised how much, how in detail CSS can get if you, the more you learn about it. Then you, we have HTML. HTML, CSS, Design and Build Websites by John Duckett, another very good book. And JavaScript. Eloquent JavaScript, I highly recommend reading this book. Get a solid understanding of JavaScript and it'll make your life a lot easier when you learn the frameworks like React.js and Vue.js and AngularJS. So make sure you get a solid, a good, a really solid understanding of JavaScript. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, if, you have, if you enjoy this um, resource list, feel free to uh, give it a star on GitHub and let me know if you need anything else to make your front-end development journey more easier. I'll see you in the next video.